level. <laughs> and I absolutely love that. She's probably there their core of that attack end that really calms them down and takes control when they need to. So it's going to be a very big job on Paige, but I'm up for it, that's for sure. I think anyone with the likes of a Romelda Aiken at the end who can shoot, you know, 50 to 60 goals in a game is going to be a big threat. I think the last two grand finals have been the best netball that's ever been played um, in Australia. And I think, um, you know, the Swifts and the um, Firebirds rivalry is just going to go on for a very long time. Um, a lot of the a lot of the players, you know, I've played against like the likes of Gav and stuff. So, um, yeah, looking forward to the Brizzy Kai. Had a look over tapes um, of the last few weeks and it's fortunate that we're in now in round four so we have three weeks of tape to look at um, and then it's all about once you're out on court just reading the play and learning as you go and that's what I think we've been improving on over the last four games for us. Um, the Swiss as well we've, we've lost the majority of our players we've only kept four out of the 12 so I think both sides have had massive changes but um, you know it's young it's exciting I think we're going to um, see a different sort of netball come out with the team. So we always like to get redemption. Um, we haven't won in Brisbane in a long time, so that's what we want to do when I come up here and get the two points in Brisbane. The crowds here are fantastic. We absolutely love our fans. And obviously, if you look back at the last two grand finals, they've been vital in getting us over the line against the Swifts. So um, it is quite an advantage to have a home crowd. And um, we really hope that we can get them all there and get, get a lot of noise and energy behind us.